Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. So today's topic is going to be really simple. Whose fault is it that baby mothers exist? It's a really good question, and so I'm going to watch this uh, video on Anton Daniel's channel. He had a great discussion with uh, a few other peers, and there were some women that I was very impressed with some of the things that were coming from their mouth, and I just have to give them kudos right off the bat. And then there was a chick who still needs work in a lot of different ways, and we're going to go ahead and just uh, give a listening ear. And if you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Let's get it started. Like, why are we seeing all these sure. baby, why are we applauding baby mamahood? Like, that's but not there a is Actually, I read those comments under some of those posts too. And there's a lot of women who are like, you know, but this is a ride goes into, like, you, you have two, right? So like having a kid is a whole life change. I would never want to put myself in a position where I have multiple kids with multiple men and I don't have the support necessary. Also, as a woman, you need a man there with you when you have children and you need that man to be there for your kids too. It's not, it's not a good choice. It's simply not. And to, to endorse the women that it is a good choice is that's not sisterhood. That is a lot of emotional. That's damage not what I'm hurt. saying though. I'm not saying people should choose that. Choice. I'm just yeah, saying you're you saying, can't okay, put but, it more on her than on him. That's the no, uh, This girl, the, the heavy set one who's saying you can't put it more on the man. Her name is apparently the trigger. Honey, actually, you can. It's what? It's it's your body and, and, and what? Your choice. If the choice is yours because it's your body, at the end all be all, pretty much your fault. <laughs> As somebody before I got married, who was a baby mama, and it is hard, it's very difficult. And I only had one kid when I did that, and she was very, very young, she just was a baby. And thankfully, I did have help, we had grandparents and such, definitely, you know, in the child's life and helping, and her dad in her life as well, but just not in the home. You're literally by yourself, you're paying all the bills by yourself, you're taking care of the children by yourself, it is hard. Even though I'm married, now that, you know, we have two kids, and I've got another one on the way, Trust me, it's still hard. <laughs> it's still hard. <laughs> There's days where I question life itself. Like, I'm like, why? Why did I want to be a mom? <laughs> like, my life was so easy before this. And I remember the days where I would just like pack it up. Like, you know what? I feel like going to the gym. It's 10 o'clock at night, but so what? I feel like going out and doing me. And I had that option. It's not easy, even with a man in your life. It's not. I mean, you got to get up and you got to take care of these kids and, you know, to actively choose to do it literally by yourself. And it is 100% on you. And, and I wouldn't recommend being a single mom to anybody. Like I said, even, even having children in a marriage is hard work. There's a lot of YouTube moms like that. Some of the big names like My Jazzy Life, five kids, single mom. Strong Mommy Chrissy, nine kids, single mom. Lives Life, five kids, single mom. Like, it's not easy. And you know what you're always seeing them do? Constantly moving. Can't keep a place for more than a year or two. Online begging for help. Uh, click baiting about some crap. It's far too expensive. You're actively choosing to stunt your own life when you become a single mom. Because there's so much less that you can do for yourself. My day isn't about me anymore. My day is literally always planned around little people. I have to wipe their butts before I even get a chance to wipe my own. Let that sink in your head before you decide to become a parent. And if you're the type of person that values your me time, don't have kids. I'm not putting more on it, but you're looking that, at it, I'm not saying that. That's I'm not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. The man needs to have accountability, but the woman is ultimately, at the end of the day, when it comes to actually bringing the, the child into the world, the only thing that I can suggest to a man is to wear a condom. Because if you're pursuing a woman and you want to sleep with her, that's that's what you want to do. That's what guys want to do. And so he's not aware of your cycle. He's not aware of your, you know, ovulation and all of that. That's things that you know all about. So for him, he's taking a chance with you when he doesn't protect his stuff. You don't know if she got herself a little ovulation calendar or something trying to trying to trap you. Maybe it's just a good time for you and maybe this is baby daddy three or four for her. If they find a guy that they think's got even a little bit going for him, they're gonna trap him. So they look at children as a way of like keeping the guy around, but it never works like that. You know, I just wanna come home and like put my feet up, flick on the TV. I don't even know what that's like anymore. <laughs> The first, like when I get off of work, after working an eight hour shift, I come home and before I ever turn on the TV and just sit down, two to three hours is spent cleaning, changing diapers, making food, 
taking care of dogs, <laughs> letting them out, feeding them, giving them water. Like it's, it's, it's everyone else but me. But it's the choice I made when I decided to become a mom. And so I have to mentally get past that. Because while there are days where I'm just like, I just want to do me, I can't. And so I have to figure out a way to make that okay. And this video was about how some women like praise and, oh great, that's wonderful, you're pregnant, congratulations. Knowing that they're not married, you know, knowing that she's gonna be a single mom. It's a joyous moment in a sense that they have a beautiful, healthy child, but it's not joyous in the sense that you know the level of stress it's going to cause this woman because you're doing it mainly by yourself and you're gonna have to rely on your family members and it's not their responsibility. It ain't your auntie's problem, it ain't your grandma's problem, it ain't your mama's problem, it ain't your sister's problem. Okay, it's yours. You know, sometimes they're there 50% of the time, Sometimes you might get a good 20 to 30% out of a man, if you're lucky. Some of them opt out of it completely. Babies are cute, but you know what else is cute? Sanity, peace, tranquility, quietness. Like the fact that my house is quiet right now, do you realize that it's late at night? <laughs> this is the only time I get any quiet time. She's the, that's the thought right there. Right, so she has to choose whether or not she's going to, you, if you want to procreate with a bunch of men and know that he's going to be irresponsible. Okay. Yeah. He needs to still be held accountable. Right. But you're still choosing to be with the irresponsible dude. It's a two way street. So it's not just the man. He can be as irresponsible. He can be irresponsible Monday to Sunday. And you know this because he has other kids and you still choose to have a kid with him. No, that's, that's your no. fault. Trigger, trigger. You wouldn't even be in that not scenario. Enough. Would you talk to a guy with three kids? No, you already got two kids by two other. Would you put your, would you, would your back, your back to your virgin status? Is. Would you I'm gonna have to watch more of this video because did you notice the way the girl I guess her name is Q was like your virgin status like you can't quote unquote be a virgin you kind of just are you aren't I just I'm curious you even put yourself in that scenario yes or no yeah I don't care if the guy I'm talking to has kids I no I'm talking friend. about no if you had two kids like two different baby daddies right okay. this man already got three kids are you gonna be Joey you got three P ah fish saying um. If at that point I was looking for marriage, no, I would wait till we get married. And then if we got married, absolutely. But okay, then. So, talking yeah. about me personally. Right? Yeah, you know. me. If I wasn't trying to get married, though, we just smashing and I like babies. Why not? That is a very stupid way of thinking. And if you yourself would require marriage, why would you think it was okay for another young lady to not? I would never recommend having children out of wedlock. I just, I wouldn't. Because in this day and age, knowing how people just be so quick to jump ship and move on and do this and do that, having a kid outside of that wedlock, out of that tie to that person, you can almost bet your lucky charms a bad day. They might just be like, well, I'm leaving. I'm done. And I got no reason not to because there's nothing tying me to you. There's no paperwork recourse for me just leaving you. Most men, if they get married, they're not going to try to undo that because... To undo a marriage is usually a lot more convoluted. Because we have so many women that are just so willing to just say, screw marriage. I don't need that. I just want the baby. Because like she said, I like babies. <laughs> That's an interesting concept. Because babies grow up. If you have the opportunity now as a young woman to not become a single mom, then don't. I'm not saying, you know, don't get in relationships or look for marriage and things like that. I'm I'm not saying that at all because in reality, I think everybody should look for a partner. Because one thing that I've often seen in older people, people who were married and older, they typically looked good and, and, and were happy because they had somebody that they loved and cared about and somebody who loved and cared about them. You know what I'm saying? You got this partner, somebody who is with you in the fight they're worried about your health and their own they're worried about your finances and their own they're your partner they're your building block whereas if you're alone you're your only person and if you have children you can hope that they'll be there for you but in reality it's not their job you want them to grow up and, and do what they need to do so they can be the best they can be in their life not worry about you that's why when you're young you should try to find a partner and then start a family and build together. Tie yourself to somebody so that they have a reason to 
not leave you. It's not like I'm saying, hey, you know, strap a dude down or anything, tie him to a room, keep him under lock and chain. No, don't ever, never under duress, never without that other person's full and utter commitment and permission. <laughs> I stress that point. Um, <laughs> But the point is, is like you want a partner. You want somebody, like I said, who's going to look out for you and be there for you. One thing that we can kind of say about life is it's ups and downs. You have periods of famine and periods of feast. Babies are cute and all. And trust me, like you guys see all my little videos and pictures of my kids. They're adorable. They're absolutely adorable. And they say the cutest things. But that don't matter when you're tired. And at least when you have a partner, that's also somebody who can kind of keep you in check. And we're known for being so hormonal. It's like God purposefully made us this way or something. Like, who knows why? We're talking about relationships and, and parenting. But I just, I don't want to see other women become single moms. I don't. I'm tired of us, especially black women. We already have enough coming at us. We already have enough stigmas and, and people who believe the worst in us as it is. Why do we do things that would make our lives even harder? Just just tell me what you think. Are, are women more to blame for the single motherhood drama that the Black American society is in? I mean, granted, we know men are obviously a part of the deal, but who's really to blame at the end I'll be a bit? Like, are we just really hard to get along with? Are we really attitude prone? Are we just choosing harder lifestyles for ourselves? You can leave me a comment and tell me what you think. I appreciate it.